I am Anil Kumar and now let us explore graphs of functions which are not polynomials, right? In the previous video learn how a graph of polynomial looks like. Now we will see how to make out whether this graph belongs to a polynomial or not, right? So what are we looking for? We are looking for few characteristics which could tell us that this is not a polynomial. So when we say not a polynomial, that means what? Not a polynomial. That means we are violating one of these rules, right? A may not be a real number and N, the exponent, may not be a whole number. Correct? So that is what we are violating and therefore there is reflection of it on the graph itself. Now I'll show you some graphs which will not be of a polynomial, right? For example, square root function. Square root function is like this. It has a restricted domain, right? So it is not a polynomial since domain is restricted. Polynomial functions have no restrictions on the domain, correct? Or we could have a function which has cusp or a corner. Let us say a function which is absolute x, correct? Now this is not a polynomial since it has a corner. You know this is kind of square root of x and this one you are familiar with as absolute x, right? Or you could have a function which has asymptotes. A polynomial will never have any asymptote. So we could, uh, let me draw exponential function for, this is a continuous function. It is kind of interesting. If you see only a part of this function, it may look like a polynomial to you, right? But you have to see the function as a whole. Now since it has an asymptote, right, so it is not a polynomial. In this case, it is a horizontal asymptote, right? We could have functions with uh, both horizontal and vertical asymptote. You know the example, reciprocal function, 1 over x, right? So that is not a polynomial since it has asymptotes. And of course, in this case, there is no restriction, I mean, on the domain, but here domain is restricted, right? So we have discontinuities and restrictions, right? Now, can you tell me why the graph of sine of x does not represent a polynomial? It is bound from two sides. You see, the range is bound from two sides. It is bound from two sides. And therefore, this is not a polynomial, right? So at times you may have a step function, right? For example, a step function could be kind of like this, right? Let us say these points are not included. Step function has a discontinuity and those are not polynomials, right? So, likewise, we may have different graphs which will not be the graph of a polynomial, right? For example, a radical function will have a cusp like this. Even cube root of x, cube root of x is kind of a very confusing, let me just sketch it in between and then I'll explain you what I'm trying to say. Okay, so here we have cube is like this, but cube root is like, do you see square root kind of like this? And on this side, it is like this. Now, this function is very important to understand. It is cube root of x. 
Now in all respects, the way we have defined, we have seen in all respects, this function is continuous, it has no restrictions on domain or range, it has no sharp corners, nothing, right? But it is still not a polynomial. Its algebraic equation is cube root, right? And one of the major problems which it has is this point of inflection. Now, here the tangent is not defined. It's kind of a vertical tangent. And that gives us a kind of problem, right? So, we had not gone into this details yet, but this is a point which you should take care of. So at this point, the tangent is vertical and this function actually is x to the power of 1 over 3. So it is not a whole number, right? But when you see the graph of the function, you have to be very clear. It's kind of a vertical line here, right? And therefore, this is not a graph of a polynomial. So that one is really hard to pick on. But all others are absolutely clear. Now, since you know about it, I think you can make out from the given graphs, if I mix up this with polynomials, that this is the one which is not a polynomial. Right? That could be sometimes very critical. But I hope with this video you understand and you are in a position to always find out which graph belongs to a polynomial and which does not. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot about advanced functions. Thank you and all the best.